Seen a lot of chalk art. I know I've seen it in my neighborhood and around town. Uh, so it's not just for kids though, right? So Tom, what are you drawing out there and what's going on? Yeah, you know, I actually love chalk art. When I, uh, my kids were little, I always had a, a big thing of chalk art just inside the garage door. They'd grab it anytime they wanted, but I always did the old standard. Ever since I was like, I don't know, first grade, I put sunglasses on a son, and that hasn't changed. And yeah, I'm out here at the uh, Scottsdale Artist School, and these are some fantastic artists. And joining me is Trudy Hayes, the executive director. Trudy. These aren't amateurs. Who are we looking at out here? You are looking at professional teaching artists, and we have five of them here today with us. So we've got Lisa Breathauer, we've got Holly Schneller, and we've got Sandra Zally, we've got uh, Darlene Curtis, and Nancy Price. Artwork on the sidewalk is inspirational. What, what were you guys thinking when you decided to have them all come out today? So what we were thinking is we look at this, um, they're creating what we're calling the pathway back. So we're, it's, it's all about community, hope, healing, and they've all chosen subjects that really um, inspire each of them. I love it. Art heals, doesn't it? It does. Art is very powerful and it gives us strength and it helps us heal. Yeah, so let's say I got six rugrats running around the house. They want, they, they're going to watch this. They're going to be like, I got to go outside and do this, Mom, Mom Absolutely. and Dad. Absolutely. What are some of the tips you want to give some of these youngsters? So some of the tips are if you can work on um, kind of a rough sidewalk surface, or you can even do it, it's a little hot to probably do it on the actual um, road surface. So try and dial in some shade for the kids. Right. Get some umbrellas like we have. And then what you want to do is, if, is as clean as possible, clean a surface as possible, then you want to work with inexpensive, soft pastels. Pastels, not chalk. As opposed to sidewalk chalk. It's going to give you the brighter colors. It's going to have, um, it's going to last longer. So what you can do I love is, those bright colors. I mean, you could eat uh, goldfish or you can eat goldfish blast, which are really great. So right. yeah, you want the colors. Absolutely. So you start with that. And, and what you want to do is you want to start in and work out so you're not stepping on your artwork <laughs> along the way. I'm, I end up with that stuff all over my knees every time. So you start <laughs> in the middle and then work out from there. Absolutely. And then once you're, um, once you get further along and you want to start blending, you can use tools like this. You can use just some packing foam. Yeah, for show blending. Brian that. What are, uh, some yeah. ideas that you had there. Some packing foam for blending. You can use a paintbrush. You can use, although they're in high demand, you can use paper towels if you have them. And or an old t-shirt in the garage. Just grab an old t-shirt, soften it a little bit, huh? Absolutely. That's that kind of gives that wonderful blended surface. How many schools do you know? How many students do you normally have in school? I know you're closed right now. Right. Um, on the adult side, we usually have about um, 2,600 students. Wow. From all, actually, they come in from all over the country, all over the world. Yeah. And our youth program with our youth instructors, we usually have about 600 youth. 600. Holy yeah. cow. Well, now all these uh, artists that are working here, they're doing some pretty personal stuff. I love this. Uh, tell me what, what's behind this one. Trudy, this is... Oh, so so Sandra, her, um, her um, daughter's fiance actually works in produce in there the grocery store. There you go. And then her daughter actually works for the airlines. <laughs> so this is very personal to Sandra. I love it. Now, one of the things to do, and I'm going to steal this for two seconds if I can, so sometimes they'll draw it out a little bit so they get a little inspiration from that but also sometimes like over here they'll just get a picture so if the kid if your kids see a picture in a magazine and they want to do chalk art with it just take the picture outside with them and that'll give them a little idea of how they can do it in terms of lighting and shape and all that stuff when do they hope to be finished with all this trudy it's fantastic it's so beautiful right now oh well thank you well we're hoping to be pretty close to finish by the end of today. <laughs> um, we might have a little bit more finished work tomorrow, but we would like people, if they're driving by, you know, just take a, a quick look and, um, you know, great photo op. And also, you know, I think the message is what we're really trying to get across. It's the pathway back. And I think that's an important message for all of us. Yeah, absolutely. A nice way to heal in, yeah. in a sense. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Trudy. Nice to meet you. Yeah, so Tom. cool, you guys. It. Yeah, so hopefully your little guys at home are inspired. Use those pastels instead of the chalk, a little brighter color. Yeah. But also, you know, use pictures out of a magazine or something. And, uh, you know, Troy, I was out on a run, and uh, one of the things I saw that I thought was really uh, one, of the, one of the best ones I've seen, it simply said, smile, it's contagious. Yeah. So I'm always right? smiling. I'm hoping it's contagious as well. And that has been scientifically verified. There's not a lot of questioning. We don't have to test a lot on that. Uh, there's no lab work involved. Very contagious. Yeah. 
Yeah, and when you have braces for five years, you <laughs> smile all the time after that. <laughs> Tom, you always bring it back to something homey. I love it, buddy. It's always great having you out in the field. All right.